Um, so first of all, would you uh, just mind introducing yourself again, just for the people who will be listening? Yeah, for sure. Uh, my name is Kaya Crimson. I'm from the band Anarchion from Vancouver, BC. Awesome. Thank you. Um, so you guys are uh, planning a Western Canada tour here. You're about to embark on that. Yeah, so I was just kind of, I was wondering, uh, what are some of the challenges uh, that you face when planning a tour like this? <laughs> um, I would say just kind of trying to secure venues and um, secure bands to play with you. Uh, it really depends, like... I, I put most of this tour together by myself um, with the help of some promoters in each of the cities. But, yeah, that's the biggest thing. And then, you know, just getting everyone's schedules to mesh and getting another band on board and heading out and yeah. hoping your vehicle won't break down. <laughs> uh, so is this your first tour then? Uh, it's our first bigger tour. We went on one in april just a mini tour yeah. uh for the cmr fest we kind of did a couple dates there but yeah this is our first big one cool um what 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 are you most looking forward to for this upcoming tour honestly i'm just super excited to see all my friends in the area and uh play with all the bands and some of the bands that we haven't played with and everything like that is there a place that you're like really looking forward to to stopping in at? Um, well, I would say Kamloops, just for the fact that we're opening for the Agonist, which I'm super excited about. Um, and I have a bunch of newfound friends in Edmonton and Calgary, so that'll be cool. And we're also playing in Fort St. John and Prince George, which are kind of my hometowns, so it would be nice, you know, for some of my high school and elementary friends and family to be able to come out to one of our shows. Um, so what can people kind of expect from uh, one of your live shows? Um, we're pretty heavy, but we're also a little bit goofy. And I don't know, we just try to have fun and give you a mosh and good time. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> Um, I know you guys have a EP coming out here in October, I believe. Yeah. Um, so what can people uh, expect from the upcoming EP? I think it's a little bit different than kind of the demos and um, single we've put out in the past. We have a new guitar player, so he kind of brings a darker side, but also just very weird and lots of different parts and yeah I'm, I'm super excited and obviously we're gonna throw a bit of our goofiness in there so <laughs> it's still super heavy but yeah just a bit different cool um so when you are making an ep like this and writing songs for it um how does kind of the the songwriting process work with you guys does one person take the lead or do you kind of jam out stuff until you find like what feels right? It's mostly my bassist and my guitar player. You know, sometimes the guitar player, Clayton, he'll come to the table with maybe a riff or even a full song, and then my bassist will kind of write off that. Or, you know, they'll each have a riff and they'll put it together and just keep writing off that. And then drums and vocals are added on top. Okay. Um, so when you are creating a, a kind of a collection of music, like an EP or an album, um, how much thought do you guys put into, like, making sure that each song kind of follows a theme? Is there any thought to that at all? or um, Theme-wise, we haven't, we haven't really worked on kind of themes. Maybe in the, in the future we'll have kind of concept albums. Yeah. But right now we're just kind of, when we get together, we're just putting together whatever chemistry and feeling kind of comes out. So whatever feelings I get from, say, the guitar work or whatever, 
is the vocals just come right out and the lyrics just come right out. So we just kind of go on a whim. Okay. Um, do you find it like uh, challenging to write the vocals at all? or? No, it's so fun. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I, I love it. I just, yeah, just bring all the songs, pour them on me, and I'll write to them all. I love it. Awesome. <laughs> um, it kind of uh, sounds like your upcoming release deals with a little bit more kind of personal uh, and somewhat delicate subject matter, I guess. Um, do you find it difficult being vulnerable on stage playing in a metal band? Actually, it's funny because, well, it's a lot easier because a lot of the times people don't even know what you're saying. Yeah. So I find it easier than, say, some of my more acoustic stuff or when I was um, in an alternative rock band in the past, it was harder because people can hear exactly what you're saying and I would definitely, like, go red singing my lyrics but yeah people can't hear it as much and you know if it's usually the vocalists that are like oh I like that line or it's people that will have to actually go out of their way to look at the the lyrics yeah so I find it's it's fine live <laughs> so would you say that music I guess is kind of your release for more personal issues and stuff like that? Oh, yeah, for sure. I'm a huge believer in, you know, music saving people's lives and just having that outlet for, you know, everyone has problems and you need something. Everyone needs something. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. Um, would you say that, I guess, music has made you like, has it changed you as a person? Has it made you better? Has it made you different? Like, Yeah, it definitely has made me a better person. It has, you know, saved me multiple times. It's, I, I don't know what I would do without it. All through life, either a song or a band has got me through either a tough time or, you know, gave me inspiration to keep going and doing what I'm doing. Every time I see a band live, it's just another push. Cool. Um, is there any bands in particular that really kind of influence your sound? I don't even know. Like, it's just so different because we all listen to different music. So yeah. it's all kind of a blend. Like, I don't know, people said I have, like, kind of death metal vocals, and I don't even know. There's, like, Iron Maiden-ish bass, and, yeah, it's so, it's confusing, <laughs> but, <laughs> yeah. Is there anybody, like, in particular that influences, like, your vocal stylings? Hmm, I don't even know. Like, the thing is, is, like, I like Eminem. I love Fleetwood Mac. Yeah. But I also love, like, you know, like Limp Bizkit and uh, August Burns Red and stuff like that. Um, I would say August Burns Red is, like, a huge inspiration to me. But I don't even know if it's the vocal style, but it's just more like the stage presence and stuff like that. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, so you, you said that you... Uh have done acoustic work and sung in rock bands and stuff, do you find it more challenging to, like, sing in this way, like, in more of the metal-type way? Um, it was challenging at first because, honestly, I was embarrassed to do okay. it. I was even too embarrassed to do it in front of myself for, like, <laughs> so long. Um, so when I finally just, like, was like, no this is what I want to do. I need to do this right now. It was just like, it was more of a muscle thing, just kind of building it up. And now it's just, it, it feels great. Like I love doing both vocal styles. Well, there's more than two, but yeah. Have you found it uh, challenging at all or any kind of like uh, adverse reactions 
being a female in a scene that seems to kind of be dominated mostly by men? I think it's, well, the thing is it almost gives you a one-up on everyone just because it's rare, more rare to see a female in metal. Yeah. Um, so it's kind of cool, but it's also sort of annoying because I've worked construction and people are like, oh, oh, you're you're lifting some really heavy, and I'm just like, shut up. Or yeah. and it's kind of like the same in metal. They're like, oh, wow, like you're like screaming. And I'm like, yeah, everyone has a voice. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and like it's it's kind of like that, but it it also works in my favor too, unfortunately. But yeah, um, I actually created a female based metal fest in Western Canada. I've no I don't know if you've heard about it. Yeah. The localistic fest. Yeah. So that was kind of a big premise um for that as well, just like showcasing mm-hmm. women in metal and just being like, Yeah, see boys you know? Yeah, <laughs> yeah for sure. That's actually funny because that was like literally going to be my next question was about that. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I stole it. <laughs> <laughs> Um, so I guess this next question is kind of a two part question. Um, so with your involvement in the music festival and everything, uh, so the first question is, do you consider yourself a role model to younger women and why is this project important to you? Um, I'm not sure if I'm quite a role model yet, but that's, that's the goal. Like I want to better myself and, you know, show young women and other women my age that this can be done and that, you know, to kind of give them encouragement. And I didn't really have that growing up, so I was never encouraged to go into music and definitely not metal. So I really want to showcase, you know, women in metal, especially for, like, I have a daughter, an eight-year-old, and she's super badass she sings like parkway drive and stuff but she won't sing it out of her bedroom so i think that was a huge motivator for me just seeing how shy she is and i didn't want her to end up you know uh like me starting so late and yeah just giving encouragement to to other little girls and stuff like that is the big goal it's it's, it's, I'm working on it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, have you had a lot of support for the festival within your community and and within the city? So far, everyone's really supportive and loving it. Like, I've had such good feedback, and yeah, I'm I'm stoked, and people seem stoked on it. And um, there's a really awesome thing called Girls Rock Camp, which I want to work more closely with, and they kind of do the same thing. They like have girls from eight to 12 or eight to 16 and they all kind of form a band, learn instruments and learn, or they make up their own song and stuff like that. So it's really cool. Yeah. Yeah. That's awesome. This is kind of a odd question, I guess, but why, why do you think that metalheads, are some of the nicest people that you may meet like out on the street or at the shows, at least in my experience, all metalheads that I've met are some of the nicest people. Why do you think that is? It's totally true. And like, yeah, such a misconception. Um, I don't even know the real reason, but all I can think of is that, you know, a lot of us are kind of weird and different growing up so yeah I just like there's kind of like a nerd aspect to it like to metalheads right yeah and we seem to mostly be introverted and yeah I don't know what what brings it on but I think the nerd aspect of it because metal is kind of the more intricate musical genre out there so it kind of attracts a certain type of people so it just seems that that follows it and actually there was like this study done that um the people like the people in the genre with the 
the that are the most faithful in the relationship are metalheads. So. Oh really? I don't know. It's steady. I, I mean, that's, 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 that's <laughs> just surprised me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So. Yeah, like yeah, I, I don't know. It's cool. Like I said, I've been to like metal shows and just some of the nicest people, and it's just very interesting to me. And uh, you know, you get hit around in a mosh pit, which is an, essentially a violent thing. But if you fall down, you're going to get picked up and people are going to make sure you're okay. And like, yeah, it's just very interesting, I find. <laughs> oh, yeah. And it's funny. It's like um, there's this thing called the Canadian mosh pit. It's like crashing <laughs> into something. Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> it's great. Yeah. Like, yeah, it's definitely a misconception. And I I just wish more people would see that. I just need to get out to a metal show, I guess. <laughs> exactly. Uh, so what's one of your uh, uh, favorite things about uh, the metal genre, I guess? Um, I mean, we were just pretty much touching on it. I yeah. I really love the community. Yeah. Um, yeah, everyone's so freaking nice. And I've met my favorite favorite people in the world since being in a metal band and that's that's a huge thing for me. Um, what's the what's the metal scene kind of like in Vancouver then? It's it's all over the place. I mean, everyone has like their different genres that they like to see, and you know, of course, the punks are always a bit more segregated. But, yeah. <laughs> um, it it seems to be really good. Like. I I love everyone that's around that's doing shows and stuff lately. They're all they seem very supportive of each other, you know, and trying to get each other shows and yeah, just in my experience so far. That's that's awesome. Um so what advice would you give to uh, someone who's maybe just starting out in music and wants to form a band? I would say, I mean, don't stop. Consistency is key. And just keep learning. Be modest. And make tons of friends. And, like, surround yourself with people that are good for you and you don't want to be in a band. If you have a bad feeling about a band member, you don't want to be in a band like that. You want, these have to be your brothers, you know, these are basically people you're married to. So you want to choose them very wisely. If you could travel back in time and change one point in history, what, what would that be? <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> hmm. That's a hard one. I mean, I would I would love to change any kind of violence and you know slavery and killing, of course. Yeah. But you know, if I was being egotistical, I would say I wish that I started music earlier. <laughs> <laughs> you know. Yeah. So when did you kind of get into music, Ben? Uh, I've always been super into music, and I've been writing like little lame songs since I was like 10 but I was such a closet singer until I was like oh my goodness like 22 yeah. and then the only reason I actually got into bands is because I just wanted to get over my fear of singing in front of people so I was like I'll go try out for a band and then I'll go home and cry myself to sleep <laughs> and then and then they wanted me in their band and I was like, Oh sure no <laughs> So yeah, I couldn't stop from there. It just kept going. Yeah. Uh do you get do you get nervous on stage at all still or Oh my goodness, yes. It yeah. doesn't even get easier. <laughs> but it's it's kind of like a muscle memory thing. It's like, yeah, I'm scared and I get nervous, but it's like you've done it lots and it's just, yeah, you just kind of let your body take over and go do it. Yeah. I kind of black out a little bit, but it's so good. <laughs> <laughs> so what's, uh, I guess, what's performing on stage mean to you then? 
Uh, a huge thing for me is, like, it's super fun. And, you know, you feel the energy completely from your band members and from the audience. And also, like, a huge thing for me is I want people to see kind of our personality and my personality. And, like, one of my biggest fears is for people to think I'm a certain way when I'm not, like, say, a snobby whatever. And as soon as you see me on stage, you're like, okay, yeah, she's just a big dork. So I like that. I, you know, I like to see people in person and to meet them and stuff like that. Yeah. Yeah, I definitely, I get you there. <laughs> <laughs> um, so this is, this is the last question I have, and it's going to be kind of silly, but if you could be, one animal, what animal would you be and why? Mm, a turtle. I a love turtle. turtles. Okay. <laughs> um, probably because they're badass and also they live a long time. <laughs> okay. <laughs> but like maybe like spliced with a bat. I really like bats. Like can I be a turtle bat? <laughs> sure. <laughs> I mean, I feel like I feel like we'll have that in our future at some point. <laughs> it's something that we'll probably try. So, <laughs> if not already. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. Yeah. Well, thank you. <laughs> thank you very much for uh, taking the time to to answer some of my questions. <laughs> yeah, for sure. Thank you.